Hello YouTube, welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. Today I'm back again with another Dollar Tree video. When I go to Dollar Tree, I always look for stuff that I need and use and that would just be a good deal, you know. It's a good deal, $1.25, even though they put it up 25 cents. Some items are still just a very, very good deal. So let's just jump right into this haul. I got a lot of stuff. So, um, first of all, okay, the first thing to come up on is these edge controls. I did find these edge controls there. And it's called Edge Wax. Okay, called Edge Wax. And I did get three of them. It's three different colors. So I have the, this is the watermelon. And this is the watermelon. And then I got a, uh, shea butter it's supposed to be shea butter and this one right here is supposed to be coconut scented that writing on there is so small but i made it y'all I, I was able to read it oh lord but this is the type of edge control i normally use called edge fixer and it's pretty good and everything but it does cost some money and I, I this is the bigger jar but the smaller jar is about this size also and this also comes in different flavors or whatnot scents and flavors because this is the lemon scented one okay so the edge fixer is normally $2.99 to $3.99 each in the store it's about to fall over all right doing wait all right and so they normally $2.99 to $3.99 in the store but um if i can get these for $1.25 and they work out so be it. I hope these really work out for me. I'm going to try all three cents. And the lady um, coming through, when I was coming through, uh, checking out my stuff, she said these edge fixers are, are really good. She said these edge controls are real good. So I would just really stock up on these if they're pretty good, you know. It don't matter to me. I just use them to slip my edges down every day. And then sometimes I'll do edges, but today I don't have any. You know, I just put my hair up into a ponytail today. All right. All right. I might well keep on going. I was going to stop them kids, you know. I got Tibby, uh, she got doing a bug and Tink. They're back there in the back. Okay, so next, the Arm & Hammer. We did use this one, this bottle is empty. We did use this one, this is the clean water. Yes, yes. It would be one that I would, I would reach for, you know, whenever I can, especially when I, I can get it in this 15 ounce bottle. Okay, so the 15 ounce bottle, I believe Suave, Suave has 15 ounce bottles also. They're regular size bottles. So this is a pretty good regular size name brand item that I can get. This is the Arm & Hammer um, Essentials Body Wash, okay? And it is a really good one. I would recommend it to anybody. Anybody who tried, try it. I believe you will really, really love it. Okay, so they do be having 15 ounces. Most of the time, you're going to see a 10 to 12 ounce. I really try to get as much bang for my butt. So I'm going to be looking for the 15 ounce bottles. And when I was in there the other day, I also saw some children's um, Arm & Hammer one. And it's only 12 ounces. So I'm on the fence about that. I try to find some lighter body wash. One of my subscribers, our viewers, did uh, suggest to me the Ivy body wash for the children. So I'm going to try something else. Because Dunabut really itches all the time. So he, he needs something light. Okay, so Arm & Hammer Body Wash, that's a go. You know, I'm not going to do an empty video. Not not right now. I used to do a couple of them. I used to do them sometimes, but, you know, uh, really the Arm & Hammer, a lot of people were asking about that one. So we did use it, and it is really good. It really is. It smells, it smells so good. It does. Okay, so then I got the Sunny D. These are not those little bottles. These are not the little bottles of Sunny D. They're not. They're the big bottles of Sunny D. The, what, the regular ones you get in the store, the... 56 fluent ounce okay this is the 56 fluent ounce and i got the tangy and original and the orange mango one. Oh, this is orange mango i don't think i've ever had that one so and these were they were on sale 99 cent at kroger's either this week or last week they may still be on sale till tuesday but these are worth dollar 25 regular price i believe in kroger's regular price probably about two dollars so a good everyday price deal on the Sunny D, but you can pick it up at Crow's for 99 cents sometimes when it's on sale. Okay, move that on out the way. Sunny D, I like it. Most folks in my house don't even like it, don't even care for it. What else is in this um, bag? Okay, the top. What else is in here? Okay, they'll let you guys know. I finished up the scent Forever Red. This is Bath and Body Works. I'm just throwing this in here, y'all. I'm just throwing it in, y'all. And this, uh, I really did like it. At first, I didn't like it because I felt like it was too strong. Because I normally like a fruity, light scent. I like a fruity, light scent. It is what it is. A vanilla, light scent. Not too strong, but a vanilla and a light scent. And um, the only perfumey light scent that I kind of like is A Thousand Wishes. And that's because it's not just so... So, it's not so strong to me. It don't seem like. This favorite red, it was okay. It is not one of my favorites, but it was really, it smelled really good. It did. 
forever red. So I finished up that bath and body wash. So now, you know, it's so it's it, it be exciting to me because it takes me so long to use a spray up. So when I get ready to pick out a new scent, it'd be really exciting to me for me to do that. Okay, let me see what's in here. They had tied this up, and I believe I know what it is. Let me show. I have found these, you guys. The boiling uh, sodas, and this one right here. This one, this is the only kind of hat. It's called the Shirley Temple. The Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple, okay? Boiling soda. I have never, ever, ever seen these in Dollar Tree. A friend of mine who watches on the channel, Clarissa, she said she see them all the time in her Dollar Tree. I think she's in New Jersey, and then you have some in Florida that I'll be watching their house. They be getting that boiling uh, soda, but I don't ever get it. These in, uh, I know in Kroger, they're like $1.79 each, or even $1.99 each. When they go on sale, I think they still be 150. So these are not too cheap. I've never had this kind, but when I went through the register, I don't know why. I'm always talking to my cashiers and stuff like that. But I didn't even say nothing. She said, I wonder is that pretty good? I, I heard it was like a strawberry cream soda. So let's hope so. So boiling um sodas. Okay, I only got two of them. I only picked up two of them. Cause Lord knows I don't, I don't really need those. But I do really love that boiling soda. Something about a bottle of soda, a glass bottle of soda. As I said, I really do like those, and I think they just come with so much flavor. They really do. Oh, I forgot I even had these. These are for dinner, but he just ate his um, dinner, so he could probably have some of these for a snack. These are peanut butter wrist crackers, just some for dinner. He really liked peanut butter crackers, and I'd rather get those for him than a candy or something like that. I'd rather get those for a snack on. Of course, some uh, water packets. The root beer water packets are really, really good. You see these doing it? Do it. You, 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 you must have heard me. Lord, have mercy. Here you go, Duna. Those are really good, Duna. All right. Then I did get alcohol. This is something that I do need to sock up on because I will clean my face with it while I'm in the shower. I, I can clean my face and neck with the alcohol while I'm in the shower. And then I do go back over with moisturizer for, with my Shastatic, um oil, which it is a lip oil, but I always use it for my neck and face. I do use it for my neck and face for moisturization. Okay. So um, the green alcohol, I love to use that to clean my face with in the shower. Uh, probably every other day or every two days. I don't do it just every day. I really don't. Give me this. No. Okay, go to the back and play. Go on. You got your peanut butter crackers? Get those. All right. All right, moving along, you guys, um, is I got this Dove. This is the one in the pink. I normally get the blue and white thing thing of it, and it's the the Beauty Cream, the Beauty Cream uh, Nourishing Body. So I guess this is just a different, it's called something different, Beauty Cream. Beauty cream. I can't get that out. Beauty cream. I love this for my hands. I love it for my hands. I really do. I keep one of these in my purse all the time. At all times. So I just picked this pink one up to try it. See if I like it. All right. I did get some baskets. I got these two baskets right here. I'm supposed to be doing some under the sink or organizing. Uh, I don't know if this was, right, this was the right choice. Uh, you can see right through the baskets. You know, you can see everything that's in there when I put it into the basket. But the thing about it. I just don't know if this was the right choice. If I really want to go with a clear or keep these green baskets. I love pastel colors, especially the pastel green and the pastel orange. Green and orange, I really love these. That pastel blue is pretty too. Really to me, the oh, that yellow too. But anyway, I love pastel colors and I'm gonna go with this for under my sink and see if it work out. If it don't work out, I can always switch out their Dollar 25 at the Dollar Tree. So that's the one good thing about getting those organization items and starting off with different stuff from the Dollar Tree. If it really works out, keep it, hold on to it. But you can always switch it out and it won't really break the bank. It won't hurt you so bad if you're done for six to ten dollars on that dollar basket or the organization items so under the sink i'm doing that as a video i really need to organize my under the sink in the kitchen okay so i got those two baskets for that i got my clothespins 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 and i got this in order to um keep the snacks at bay once they're open. Just to, you know, close up the snacks once they're open. That's what I'm gonna use them for. And anything else that could be useful for them around the house. So this comes with 32, 32 was in there. So I got enough for a while. Yes, Lord. So I'm definitely gonna use these in my snack cabinet, okay? And um, Miss Diane, one of our viewers, she definitely suggested this to me. I did see some clips. They were cute, they were colorful, but the, the last clips that I have been buying from Dollar Tree, for one, I've, I've been losing them, and they only come six, four, six, 
maybe four or six to a pack. I've never seen one bigger than a six pack with the little colorful, nice little, you know, uh, clips that you could buy from Dollar Tree. Yeah, they're cute and everything, but they, I mean, I just need something to close down an open bag of chips. You know, I don't, I'm not looking for nothing really extravagant. So it's 32 of these. So these will last me for a long time and I can continue to use them over and over just to clip down the bags and put them back into their bins because I do plan on um, sorting my um, snack cabinet into bins and putting down all the open bags with clothes bins. So I'll be using that, Miss Diane. That was a great idea to use clothes bins. I have, I've seen people. I dropped some. I've seen people do the clothes pin. I, I didn't think about it though. I did not. Lord have mercy. That's why I love you guys. I learned so much from my views. I, man, you guys have brought me a mighty long way. I just don't know. But okay, so we um these right here, these three little bins right here. You know, I was showing you on another video not too long ago that I keep a lot of condiments from restaurants. I keep the condiments. Uh, right now, I do have jelly, ketchup, and mayo. I do have those in packets. I'll be washing it anyway. So I got three of these, and here is the list to go to. So clear, you can see right through them. I can see what's in there. That's that. I doubt I'll ever be labeling anything. I just need stuff to kind of contain stuff, just to keep it organized, just to keep it straight. I just, just try to keep it straight. I ain't trying to do nothing to extravagant. Not right now. Cause don't, don't get it twisted. Those Pinterest cabinets and Pinterest pantries are gorgeous. So. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it uh, coming one day soon, I guess. Coming one day soon. Coming one day soon. All righty. So I did get some stylus. These stylus come in a three pack, and I would definitely be giving Ducey one. One of his favorite colors is red, so I'm sure he'll take this red one. Ducey had got some really nice ones. I don't know where he got them from. He got some really nice stylus. And these are just straight, when you see on the top, we just say stylus. You know, most of them say stylus, pen, and I mean, most, most of them got two or three different functions. All I need is a stylus, something where I can, you know, boom, 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 boom. Especially, I'm finna get ready to put my nails back on, definitely. So this will help me out with put inputting different things on my phone. My phone is where I do a lot of my business, a, a lot of, just a whole lot of stuff on my phone. So I love having stylus. He had a white one. Deucey had a white stylus and a silver stylus. I asked for the white one because it was clean and it had uh, silver accents on it. It was such a beautiful stylus. And so he kept the silver one that had white uh, accents on it. And so he kept his silver one and I kept the white one. I lost the white one. Then I went back and asked Deucey, can I use the, uh, he gave me that white one. And then I went back and said, can I use your silver one? I lost the silver one too, y'all. I am, you know, I'm gonna give Deucey one of these stylists. And I just don't know what, <laughs> he'd be good to me though. He don't even trip, he like, oh, okay, mom, you lost it, all right. <laughs> That's all he'll say, he don't say too much. So when I bought this, I bought this, think about Deucey. Deucey, you got you another style, you got you one. I'm gonna give you that one. I'm gonna give you one out of that pack. This was a surprise to me, with these Glade, these Glade um, air fresheners right here, these Glade air fresheners. You can kind of smell them outside the pack. That's a good thing, though, because for one, it's containing that smell. But for two, when you open it, it's going to get liver and it's going to be still smelling. If you can just smell it real good outside the pack, that, I don't know if that's any good because you might actually lose some of your scent while, while you can smell it so well. You know, the scent might be just escaping, you know. So, But when I open this, and I think there is a way to do it. Like when you first put it on, I think they tell you just to... Uh, Pull it down halfway and that, that, uh, but I normally just take the whole plastic thing and put it in the car, let it roll for about two weeks, maybe three. And it normally sends the car pretty good. And this came with three in there, came with three of them in there. These are the Glade ones. And I really want to stock up on this. This is another item that I would love to stock up on so I don't even have to get it no more. And I hardly, I, I've never even seen the Glade car. And then it got a scratch right here. Mmm. This smells good. This is the vanilla passion fruit and Hawaiian breeze, supposed to be mixed together. Vanilla passion fruit and Hawaiian breeze, supposed to be kind of a mixture of those smells. It smells so good. It really does. So I, oh, I want to get some more of these. And I did see some of the trees in there. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I think I'm trying to pop a picture of some of those trees. Um, and you don't hardly see that in there. Cause then once I had took them on out of there because so many people, I guess they kept buying them out and buying them out. My husband do love that, that, um, the, the very popular fragrance, that black ice. He liked that one, you know? So I'm going to stock up on the black ice and the other fragrances that the trees got in there. And I'm going to get these glade ones for our car. But for right now in our car, we have a small, 
a small space in there and that joker is rocking we got a small space for breeze in our car and you talking about it is smelling good so and i got quite a few of those small space for breezes for breeze for breeze small spaces here in our home i, I mean i got quite a few of them like you know maybe five or six of them you know so if, if all those fail i can just put another one of those in our car i'm gonna see how these do Maybe I should try them before I stock up on them, you know. So I, I only got one, yeah, to try it, and then we'll see. Stuff that I really, really like from Dollar Tree, I'm going to keep continue to buy it and use it, you know. But a lot of times when it's a real good item, you go back and forth and uh, bought it all. So I just don't know. I'm going to try this right here. Stencil. This stencil, eyebrow stencil. And it's supposed to help with arching your eyebrows. And you guys can see mine are thin as heck. You can't even really see them. But when I clean them up, when I kind of clean them up a little bit, when I clean them up, they're more noticeable. When I clean them up, they're more noticeable. See, I, I've never arched my own eyebrows, but when I used to would go to the eyebrow, uh, the people who arched the eyebrows, the, really the nail shop, while I'm in there, I'm gonna go ahead and get an arch. They would always tell me, I can make them more noticeable because you know you don't have that many eyebrows, your eyebrows are thin, they, they are really thin, that's what they used to tell me, but I can make them more noticeable for you. So they would arch them, and I mean, I really loved the way they looked, I really did. So, I'm going to check out this stencil. I don't know exactly how it's going to go. So, we'll see. We'll just see how that goes. We will see. I just want to clean them up on the, on the outsides and keep just a, you know, a part of my eyebrow up there. Just want them to be cleaned up. So, if this works out, there's another thing I'll be stocking up on or to arch my eyebrows at home. Now, my feet, that is going to be a thing to pamper myself, to go get my pedicure done because i would do i love press on nails i really love them so i will be continuing to do my press on nails i would do my own hair but in order um and i'm trying to work on my eyebrow because i paid five dollars every time i went to get my eyebrows arched in illinois five dollars when we moved to arizona we've been a lot of places you guys when we moved to arizona i paid between seven and eight dollars for my arches seven and eight dollars I was in the mall the other day here in Alabama. I was in the mall, but that's because I was in the mall probably. The arch is $20 in there. It is 20 bucks. Now I might can still get an arch for 15 somewhere. I might can. Cause my daughter Tay Tay was looking at uh, a nail shop and I think she said in there, they want about 15 bucks for their arches. So that's a little cheaper. But if I can learn to do my arches, I I'll be good to go and like, every month or every other month or so go get my feet done all right so that'll be my pampering my feet because i do i love to do all that type of stuff get my hair done nails done and my arches and stuff and i just do it all the time but right now i remember one day i probably spent 225 getting nails hair and eyebrow arch and my feet done 225 that's i've saved so much money just doing my own thing these past three or four years you know right before COVID and then I just continued on with doing it you know it doesn't make any sense I did pick up one of those kid things and it is only a 12 ounce 12 fluid ounce but I want to see I, I bet it's real good on, for doing the bug 3 in 1 it's a uh, shampoo conditioner and body wash so I can just wash a little head off too once he's got it cut and stuff so this is the uh, this is the Arm and Hammer body wash for kids okay And none of that is it down there. So this right here, I had got this. I love this bottle. I love the way it looks. I was going to use it for a water bottle. Water is real good to my hair. Since I'm trying to go natural now, water is good for my hair. Mixed with moisturizer, right? It's really good for my hair. So I'm going to use this for a water bottle. But this was $1.25 at Dollar Tree. I'm going to probably use this for cleaning, for a cleaning supply. Because um, I do plan on trying some cleaners, some dollar cleaners. And see which one are the best. Because that Clorox is out of hand. The Clorox spray is just out of hand. I, I, I refuse to pay 6 or $7 for the Clorox spray. I can also get it for maybe 4 or 5 I just, I just cannot. So if I can get it on a sale, 250 or less, with a rebate and on sale, and, you know, a digital coupon and stuff, I will go ahead and do it for 250 or less. But other than that, I got to find other cleaners that will clean my house very well for me. I have to find other cleaners. Okay, so I went to Dollar General. I'm just showing this. And I found this bottle. I just think it's cuter and everything like that. So I'm going to use it for my water bottle for my hair. Fill it with water and spray my, spray my hair and put my moisturizer on to get my ponytail up. So I will be using that. And it wasn't but a dollar. They have a dollar spot and the family dollar. 
They got one in Dollar General, and they have one in Pop Shelf, Dollar Spots. Now, a lot of, um, I bet a lot of grocery stores have a Dollar Spot, but I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure, but I know for sure the Family Dollar, Dollar General, and Pop Shelf have um, the Dollar uh, Spots. So I'm gonna be checking those out because this is dollar twenty five at Dollar Tree, and I'll be using this one, uh, this one for my hair water, you know, put on my hair, and this one for cleaners. It'll be under the sink, probably with my cleaners and stuff. Okay, all right, we down to the last bag. Y'all gonna get on off of here? Oh, here goes something right here. Uh, dark brown. Uh, see, my grays are coming back in. I got a few grays up here, right there. They're coming back in. My norm, my natural color for my hair is a really dark brown. So this is a dark brown hair hair coloring from Dollar Tree. It works just fine for me. And I could probably do it like once a month or once every other month. It works fine for me. So I do want to stock up on this. I do want to stock up on it. I had got um, some of these shades right here for Junibud. They don't have a thing on them because he's already worn them. So he really likes them. So when the, the sun has been being out bright, I got myself some shades also, but I don't know where they at right now. I just literally don't know. I think they're in the top of my closet. So I've already been utilizing those too. Shades, I pretty much, I will get them from Dollar Tree. I ain't got no problem. Cause of that, I lose them. So, you know, I don't want to buy like no, no Ray-Bans or something like that. Coach frames or Nike frames or something like that. And then I lose them. You know, I don't want to get no really nice pair and then lose them. Dollar Tree brand, I really like, I really love their shades. I really do. So I get them every single summer. All right. And then I did get these saltine crackers right here. This only come with two packs of crackers in them. Dollar 25. But, uh, wait, wait a second now. Dollar 25 for just two packs. So if you if I bought a whole box, it'd be $2.50, right? $2.50. I know the premium crackers are running $5. I know that about five bucks on the shelf. And maybe $3.99 be the sale price for them or $2.99 be the sale price. So you can get the same amount for $2.50. And I plan on stocking up on these because Duna Butt like to have either some cheese on top of the cracker or some peanut butter on top of the cracker for a snack. So I do need to stock up on my saltine crackers. I really do. Um, and even the off brand, crackers in stores uh, they gotta be a good 2.99 or something right now i don't know for sure i might pop some pictures up on what i find like how much they're running so i really still think dollar tree has the best price for a dollar 25 for two sleeves and then you know um that's a good thing i open them and only two sleeves will be open at one time instead of the whole four pack box of crackers but if i can find a four pack box of crackers in dollar tree now that definitely would be a steal it really would it would be a steal but we will see. Okay, hey, y'all, we're down to the last few items. This one right here, I got four of these. I got four of these. And these are the folded, the little folded bins you can buy. The little folded bins you can buy. And this is your um, your eight inch, your eight and a half inch by 11 and a half inch. So if it's 11 and a half inches long, you know, you can see how long it is. You know, about long as a ruler, about long as a ruler, right? And then eight inches is gonna come down about right there. That's about how wide it's gonna open up, like from my hand to right here. It's gonna open up about that wide, right? I wanna use these compartments in order to organize my underwear drawer, you know, and it is what it is. I am gonna show y'all what I do. I'm not gonna show too much this and that. Everybody's seen a pair of underwear and stuff like that. It ain't gonna be nothing like that. I'm gonna just show y'all how I organize it. So everything's gonna be folded and done up and different stuff like that when I do show it. But I'm gonna show how I do my uh, my underwear drawer with these. And I think that's gonna be a great way to not have to sift through every single thing in my drawer in order to get a pair of socks. I just, I'm so tired of that. So I'm definitely gonna organize my drawer with these. This is the eight and a half by 11 and a half uh, folded storage bin. And it should last a long time in your underwear drawer. You shouldn't be too hard on it, you know? So I'm sure this left for years and years in my drawer. And once I do my drawer, I start working on my other, my husband's drawers and stuff. Okay, here goes some uh, candy right here. Some little Valentine heart candy. And it's, pe it's chocolate covered peanut butter filled. So kind of like a little off-brand Reese. Like a little off-brand Reese cut right here. You know the candy jar I have? These are going to go right in there. They're going to go right in there. They are. You know, I, I like just putting them in there. And then people do that, eat that candy right on out of there. And when I see it's empty, I just go and get another little pack, refill it. I'm going to try this. This is hand cream. 
for dry skin. It's made by Yes. This is definitely a name brand item, but it is smaller. Oh, is this three? Yeah, it's a three ounce. It's not just super big either. But I'm gonna try this one. And it, it it's like I can't even open it to smell it because it it's sealed. Okay, there we go. It is sealed down with this plastic right here. I do love that about it though, you know. I like to know the stuff is sealed down real good. Closed down real good, you know. So when it's in the store and you can just automatically pop it open and get some out and all that, that you know, I just you know, it's not my favorite type of thing. You know? I just <laughs> no, it smell it don't it don't smell, you know, it smells all right. And it feels pretty good. It feels a little thin, but it feels pretty good. Kinda good. It feel it feels okay. But the smell is not the best. Oh, it's fragrance free. No one I can hardly smell anything. I can't hardly smell nothing. So we'll see. It may be better than the Dove hand cream. This Dove cream, because this is a bit thick. But you better believe it's going to keep them hands from being so ashy. So, but it's a bit thick. So this one is on the thinner side. And I'm going to see if I really, if I like this better, this will be the hand cream I might keep in the, um, this is a better moisturizing lotion though. I might use it for Duna since it's fragrance free. And you know, for dry skin. I really need something for Duna and myself. And I just haven't found the right lotion that I really, really like. But this is by Yes. And they also make skin products, so they may ha have your skin in mind when they make their lotions. So I'm gonna see how this goes. Uh, once I find some, especially in Dollar Tree, I'm gonna stock up, cause lotions, getting out of hand, getting out of hand with the price. Lotions are out of hand. It's just, it's really hard to find an inexpensive lotion. And the other day, my daughter, yeah, she went about the swab, but the swab, it just, it's so watered down. You don't even stay, you know, you don't stay, um, moisturize for long so this is the last item you guys i ain't gonna stand here i'm trying my best to get on out but y'all know i like to talk i really do um i really enjoy the dollar tree i enjoy finding all the great items that they have man i love finding the full size name brand items in there i just do that at other stores you're gonna pay three times or four times as much for the items so it is what it is now this is something i bought i should have stocked up on it but i don't know how it's gonna be this Lipton Ice Tea. And this is the Southern Sweet Tea. They also had a Southern Lemon Flavored Tea. They had the Lemon Flavored Tea. I'm not a big fan of Lemon Flavored Tea, but they do have the Lemon Flavored Tea. And um, sometimes I can drink that tea and lemonade together though, cause I did that one time and it was pretty good. And that's pretty much the same thing, but I don't know if it is the same thing because I can drink it like that once I mix it from one to the next. But if I just buy it, lemon flavor, I just cannot drink it. Now this right here, it says uh, two tablespoons of this powder stuff will make you a glass of sweet tea. But uh, then it says the whole pack will make a 64 fluid ounce. It'll make a 64 fluid ounce, which is about the size of like an ocean spray bottle or whatnot. So I'm gonna, I wanna do it in my picture. But if it only makes 64 fluid ounces, that's not, I don't know if that's necessarily a gallon or whatnot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do the measurements. It is, it is eight cups. Eight cups might be a gallon. I don't know for sure. I might double check everything and stuff, you guys. So uh, if it doesn't make a gallon, I'm gonna put it, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna use it in my picture anyway and see how this sweet tea goes. Me and my family really love sweet tea. I will go back and stock up on it, but I haven't seen it in too many Dollar Trees. I just haven't seen it. I hope we like it, and then I really, this is something I can put in my pamper pantry. So I really wanna use this. All right, you guys, that's it for the Dollar Tree haul today. Thank you guys. I found a lot of good things that me and my family use and love, and a lot of things that I'm gonna try. So I will be letting you guys know about that. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. And until next time, YouTube, stay blessed.